Hello my friends, and welcome back. Today, unfortunately, I have to talk about something that has become a hot topic in the Komal Rebi community. I'm going to avoid giving usernames and project names here, so if you don't know what I'm referring to, I would ask you not to go out of your way to look anything up. You know, I don't want this to turn into an internet mob kind of situation, um, but yeah, let's see where to, where to start. In February, let's start in February, uh, a user started participating on the Discord and on GitHub. They opened pull requests that did not meet the, the quality standards for contributions. And, you know, they were given constructive feedback by me, by others, on how to improve the PRs so that they could be merged. Uh, the feedback centered around, you know, splitting different features into separate PRs so that they can be reviewed easily, having detailed commit messages, um, matching the existing style of the code base, considering implications on backwards compatibility, you know, that that sort of basic open source contribution feedback. Um, at the time, there was a code freeze in effect to try and stabilize the then upcoming version 0.1.20 release of Komal Rebi, which even after all of those efforts went uh, very, very badly. There is a live release video on the channel if you haven't already seen it. Uh, and you know, this uh, actually resulted in me making a release retrospective video um, to try and learn some lessons from that going forward, which which I think we did. Uh, throughout this period, I was clearly communicating to contributors when they could expect their changes to be merged. And we got a bunch of big, big contributions like the grid layout and the window sizing calculation improvements landed very, very shortly after in the subsequent release. Um, so right after uh, that release came out and the code freeze was lifted, um, that was like the second week of February, I think. Uh, and then after being unemployed since Thanksgiving 2013, I finally started a new job in the third week of February. Uh, I communicated to everybody that it was going to be a really busy week for me. I wasn't going to be around on Discord, on GitHub as much. And I asked the community to pick up the slack a little bit uh, in helping newcomers, you know, people with questions, uh, people with like configuration errors, stuff like that. And thank you so much to everybody who helped out and continues uh, to help out, uh, especially on the Discord where uh, we, we get a lot of users uh, coming and asking for help and I'm not always around to provide quick feedback. Um, I later found out that during that week, uh, during the, the first week of my new job, uh, this user had ignored all of the, the feedback on the PRs. Uh, they went ahead and closed all of the PRs and just created a, a fork with those changes. Um, they also made a number of structural changes to the repository, breaking schema changes, which effectively turned that fork into a hard fork. Uh, in the coming weeks, uh, this user started posting about a Komal Rebi configuration UI that they were working on, uh, which you know picked up naturally a whole bunch of interest in the community. It later came out that this configuration UI depended on and bundled with it the hard fork that was created. And then finally, earlier this week on Aid, they announced that the app, now completely renamed, was available for purchase in the Microsoft Store with some kind of free trial available. Um, to me, there is a lot wrong with this picture. I myself am barely able to keep up with all of the questions and issues that come up on GitHub, on YouTube, on Discord, and I'm so grateful for all of the time and effort that volunteers put in to help newcomers 
um, to help explain advanced features, to suggest workarounds, to analyze configuration files and lock files. You know, I definitely could not keep up with all of this alone. The one saving grace that makes all of this possible is that everyone is working from a single mental model of Komorebi's schema, behavior, and compatibility guarantees. There's no doubt that a UI configuration tool could help a lot of people in the community, especially less technical people and newcomers, but to only be able to use it with a for-profit hard fork that ignores the contribution guidelines, standards of quality, and backwards compatibility guarantees feels like a hostile act towards both the project and the community that has grown around it. I don't believe that this is in the best interests of the project or the community, and personally, I find it very disrespectful. I'm fortunate to have had many, many positive experiences of open source collaboration in and around the Komorebi ecosystem over the years. I enjoyed working with Den on making YASP integration possible. I'm so happy that Isaac and Rob have chosen to make the Komorebi application specific configuration rules a core part of the WIM tiling window manager. Uh, more recently, I had a lot of fun helping Lars build a Komorebi provider for Zbar. And, you know, of course, if you look in the issues of Glazed WM in the Glazed WM Discord server, I'm always there happy to share solutions for common tiling window managers on Windows problems. You know, uh, I think that open source collaboration, right? It requires a high trust environment where everyone is trying to work towards a common good for communal benefit. But it only takes one instance of someone abusing that high trust environment to the detriment of the common good to spoil it for everybody. I'm, I'm reminded of an Afghan proverb which talks about how a single drop of dirty water makes an entire jug of drinking water undrinkable for everybody. So there will be some changes coming to the project soon as a result of this situation. Uh, and I'll talk about those separately at a different time. But now that we are where we are, here are the initial steps that I would like to see taken in order to try and restore some of the trust that has been lost. Number one, upstream Komorebi as the target for this configuration UI. And number two, an end to the distribution of the hard fork of Komorebi with this configuration UI. You know, build whatever you want on top of Komorebi to integrate with Komorebi. Make it free, make it paid for. I don't really care. My primary concern is a single source of truth for how Komorebi is configured and behaves. A single schema and a single set of universally respected compatibility guarantees. A single bar of quality that must be met before we allow the software to run on the devices of regular end users. If there isn't a willingness to work towards these goals, well, look, you know, we've built a world-class tiling window manager from scratch together here on this channel. So I am quite confident that we can build our own free official Komorebi configuration UI if we need to. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for your support. 
that was what I had to say. So, my friends, I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day. Free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.